Hey, River Church family, it's Tuesday, and I wanted to bring you your two-minute update. I'm just forewarning, maybe a little bit longer than two minutes today, a little bit more to say. First of all, I want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for the way that our family has stepped up around us this week. As you can see, my wife is recovering well from her little procedure last Thursday. She's enjoying a little bit of vitamin D this afternoon, trying to recoup and get back to her normal but thank you for everyone that's brought food prayed texted dropped by to see her flowers from the church you guys have just been super awesome so thank you thank you thank you thank you hey i wanted to give you a couple reminders of things that are happening this week and and, and in the near future obviously tomorrow night wednesday night is the living room 6 30 at, uh, at at the church then sunday morning every sunday morning at 9 45 we have a prayer time if you have a special need that you'd like to be prayed for Come and, and, and meet with us early so we can pray for your needs. I um, also want to remind you, uh, youth, our River Youth have some really cool things happening coming up really, really soon. A week from this coming Saturday, they're taking a trip to Helen, Georgia. The cost is going to be $10 per student, and they're going to uh, they're going uh, rafting. Is it the Chattahoochee that they raft on? I think it's the Chattahoochee, but it's a, it's a rafting excursion. Not a rafting, uh, yeah. tubing. It's yeah. not rafting. Uh, if the Jenkins family hates rafting, so it's not rafting, um, but it's tubing, and it's it's very mild. Anyhow, they're all excited about going, but they're going to need some people to help with chaperoning and driving down. So uh, let them know on Sunday if you're going to be able to go. Ten dollars, nine o'clock, leaving from the church. Then the next day, the 27th, they're kicking off a Bible study for girls uh, and a Bible study for guys. And specifically for the guys, we're asking some of the River Church men to join into that Bible study. It's going to, both of these are going to start at 9 and go to 1015 on Sunday mornings. It's six weeks, and we'd love to have some adult involvement, some mentorship, some discipleship, stepping in there and helping out with our, with our river, river youth. I want to also remind you, you heard a little bit on Sunday about Mark Brown and his connection to the Kairos Prison Ministry. That's happening September the 20th and the 20, through the 23rd. And every time that Mark goes, he uh, and asks his River Church family to help out by, by help filling in a prayer chain. And so there's lots of time that you can be praying for the people that are, that are experiencing this weekend of ministry at, uh, at the prison. There's also an opportunity for you to bake a dozen cookies. They're needing about 12 dozen baked cookies um, and, and sent in. So uh, all that information for that can be um, gotten from Mark and Darlene. Their email will be provided here, or you can see them Sunday at church for the sign-up sign up sheet. I also want to let you, remind you one other thing. We're so blessed to have Sue Moore, part of our River Church family, and she runs a ministry called Forgiven Much Ministries. And Forgiven Much deals with people that, are, that are, helps people dealing with uh, various types of addictions, specifically addictions of sexual nature. So she's partnered with an organization or a conference rather in October called Reclaiming Sexuality. It's Reclaiming Sexuality Conference. And uh, she's wanting to just get the word out that, that it's a one-day conference and wanting to invite the River Church family. It's really just a day-long conversation about what does God say about sexuality? What is God's design for sex? And bringing that into a, a conversation context that's not often talked about in church. And it's in reality, it, it's talked about in so many other places. It needs to be talked about in the family of faith. So that's your two-minute update of things that are happening. I've gone well over two minutes. I'm going to leave you with a song that we heard on Sunday at the end of service, um, Faithful by Chris Burns. Kevin shared this on Sunday after his message. And uh, just be blessed by it as you just continue to seek the Lord and asking Him to make you faithful in your walk with Him. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow night at the living room. Jesus, I want to be faithful, I want to walk before you upright, oh Jesus, I'll be loyal, because I know that in this you delight. You're not looking for the big things You're looking for the day after day You're not looking for the flashy but the faithful ones
You're not looking for the big things. You're looking for the day after day. Not looking for the flashy, but just the faithful ones. And we want to be faithful. Let me be a faithful one. So we say, Jesus, I want to be faithful. I want to walk before you, my Lord, upright. Jesus, I'll be loyal because I know that in this you delight. Not looking for the big things, you're looking for the day after day, you're not looking for the flashy and just the faithful ones. Looking for the big things, no, 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 you're looking for my day after day, you're not looking for the flashy, but just the faithful ones. On that day, you will say, well done, good and faithful one. On that day, you're going to look me and say, well done, good and faithful one. All of my titles, they mean nothing. Oh, when you look at me, yeah. All men great and powerful But when they show up to your doors You call them good and faithful Which do you want to be? You want to grow and be a fruitful tree yeah. See, cause just a little living Just a little seed it Keeps you eating from the good and evil tree Yeah you're not looking for the big things You're looking for my day after day You're not looking for the flashy Just the faithful ones So I want to be faithful I want to walk before you are upright oh, Jesus, I'll be loyal For I know that in this you delight Great sacrifices is not what I'm looking for I'm looking for obedience Oh, obedience is greater than any sacrifice Oh, yes, and I say I want to be faithful Oh, you delight in my obedience more Than burnt offering, oh 